Today we're joined by Peter Kenyon, who is the CEO of Ramsons. Ramsons announced their final year results today. Peter, thank you for joining us. It's all right. Pleased to be here. Peter, maybe we could start by you giving us a brief overview of the Ramsons business model. Whilst we've only been on the markets for just over a year now, the business is over 30 years old. The first Ramsons was opened 31 years ago. So it's a traditional bricks and mortar business. The main service is foreign currency. 40% of our gross profit is from foreign currency. And that is traditionally selling people their euros to go to Spain or wherever they're going on holiday. So it's travel money. The other three um, core income streams that we have are all linked to jewellery. So the first one is pawnbroking, that's 25% of our gross profit, and that's short-term loans secured by jewellery. If the customer doesn't pay that loan back, then we sell that jewellery. The other way of sourcing jewellery as well as new jewellery is we buy it from Joe Public. So if a customer doesn't want their jewellery anymore, we will buy it. So the unredeemed pledges, the jewellery we've bought off customers, supplemented with new jewellery, forms the jewellery that's now a jewellery retail. And then on top of the bricks and mortar offer that we have, we have an online um, service for both foreign currency, if you want to do click and collect, and for jewellery retailing. And the beauty of the jewellery retailing over the last 12 months and the investment in it is helping our branch staff see what's in other stores, so that helps them sell locally as well. You reported a strong set of results today, which in your statement you say were ahead of the board's initial expectations for the year. What were the highlights? Well, all key income streams of work that's resulted in gross profit being up 17%. That's then in turn put profit before tax up 60%. So they're a good set of numbers. Uh, and we're pleased to announce that the subject to AGM approval, the dividend will be 4.4p. So Peter, why is Ramsons performing so well in foreign exchange? Foreign currency is three things that the customer wants. They want a great price, great exchange rate. They want it to be convenient and want it from someone that they trust. So we have... Um, got a good price proposition for the customer because we're able to um, offset our costs across all our income streams so we'll be able to be price competitive. Uh, we give customer privacy in our store, we've done a lot of investment around the brand, Ramson's currency has been in front of Middlesbrough shirts, we do TV advertising, so it's a strong awareness followed up with a very good proposition for the customer. So what about online Peter? Yes, online is growing, um, online's our biggest branch now, so it shows the opportunity that's there. Um, jewellery is often a touchy-feely product though, so it's complemented within the stores as well as online. Jewellery retail is also growing very well. What are the opportunities for Ramsons in this segment? Oh, the, the, the opportunity is huge. We have such a little share of the market. Um, we have learned a lot of lessons over recent years. We're still, we've still got investment to happen into staff skills, we've still got investment in our stock mix, stock levels. Um, and we're trying some new things that are uh, trying to attract a cross-sell into that foreign currency customer base that we have. So finally, can you give us an overview of the outlook for the year? Oh, I think we have a positive outlook. Um, I think we've got great momentum with our customer base. We've got growing numbers in foreign currency, growing numbers in retail, and we see that continuing. Um, we opened four new stores in the last 12 months. I've got a very good, strong pipeline um, of stores that are coming online in the next six months, and I think some of them are going to be a crackers.